Hey everybody, it's Michael Termini with The Game House, and today I'm joined by Freak at the LCS Finals. Uh, so, first things first, how is Chicago so far? Chicago's great. Um, I, I know all kinds of fake facts about Chicago. Um, I was here a few weeks ago interviewing people about Chicago, uh, weirdly half whom weren't local. Um, but it's been great. It's actually been uh, really fun being here. Uh, the fans have been awesome. Yeah, nothing positive to say. The Freak on the Street series. Uh, so I got to ask, you know, you're going around recording all these people. How much of a fool did you make of yourself? I'm in a decent amount. Um, I would say actually... Oh, I could flame nameless people who didn't make the footage. Um, people actually are maybe surprisingly like not always comfortable on camera. So there's plenty of people who are like, oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, really, there's one dude who's like absolutely killer at every answer. Mm -hmm. And like we wanted for like five minutes. He just had like stellar answers everywhere. And he has like a clip in the entire thing. I was like, oh, OK, he was really good. Um, the yeah, I, I mean, overall, uh, people were good about it. I, I did a lot of prefacing actually okay i'll do i'll do one thing um so it's like a big crew that we hired out they're like all from the midwest they, they flew in or were local or whatever um there's a dude who'd come by and be like hey uh we're doing we're doing a a promo shoot for um an event in, in a couple of weeks this guy's a really big celebrity in the scene yeah. and just every time i would just like cringe and just like try to get smaller like eh. <laughs> but um i don't know it was it was fun overall that's good to hear that's good to hear uh so you know, we're at Chicago. We're at the LCS Finals. Uh, this is day two, so EG already lost to 100 Thieves. So I want to get your thoughts on that series because, honestly, of, of the of the two series, I think it's the more interesting one with the whole uh, Kaori situation. Uh, sorry, Kaori situation. Uh, so, you know, what are your thoughts on the whole sub uh, and the situation for EG as a whole? Yeah, sure. Uh, as far as Kaori versus Kaori, apparently, like, all of his teammates call him Kaori. His actual name is supposed to be, like, Kaori. Um, we're just like, we're just going to stick with Kaori because the Academy, Academy has to call him that. We'll stick with that one. Uh, but, yeah, there's people who still call him Uzi Ai. You know, like, it, you can't win them all. Um, either way, uh, I mean, I hope I hope Danny's okay, right? Like, um, like I, I mean, there's there's not a better answer than that, right? Like, I don't know what's going on exactly, but I just hope he's going to be okay. Um, as far as Kaori stepping in last minute, like, that's always going to be tough. Um, I thought it was going to be 3-0, but turns out Hunter Thieves decided they're going to let him have Lucian twice, so that was an XD. Um, but yeah, they figured out how to draft properly with a single ban, and it was a 3-0 once they figured that out. So, you know, I felt my prediction was pretty accurate. Um, regardless, yeah, I mean... Big copium, but yeah. I mean, I, you know, in essence, I was right, you know? Um, <laughs> either way, um, you know, we'll see what happens with Worlds. Uh, if, if Danny is ready to go and comes back, that's great. He's an outstanding player. If he's not, they get another month to practice with Kauri, and, and the team should look better. I think plans is at this point, like sort of where they deserve to be, right? All things considered. Um, and, you know, we just keep that hopium going and, and uh, it's going to be great. Well, yesterday during the press conference, that was one of the things we asked. We asked, uh, you know, should fans be expecting Kauri or should they be expecting Danny? And they were leaning towards the Kauri side. Uh, so with that revelation, uh, I guess, <laughs> you know, what do, what do you think EG's chances are for plans? Um, I mean, it depends on the group, right? Like, uh, play-ins can be tough. You have you have uh, what was it, Mad Lions, who who crashed out of play-ins a few years ago. Um, we've had times where like neither PCS team makes it out. Um, and yeah, I mean LCS, we could have our turn as well, of course, right? Like it's certainly possible, especially if you're subbing out, you know, one of your star players, right? Um, so you know, am I like 100% going to win? No, it's going to be done in the group. Like there's some really good teams out there, right? Um, but like. EG are good. JoJo's playing better and better every time. Inspired, if he's if he's in top form, he's amazing. Vulcan's amazing. Impact's amazing. And it's like, okay, you know, what level is Kyrie going to play at? Does he have to be at Danny's level for them to get out plans? No. But does he have to be, like, 80% of that one? Probably. Um, what's it going to turn into? I don't know. Like, his Sivir and, and Zeri and, like, teamfight carries are not as good as Danny's. It's not close, right? And if, and if EG, like, needs that style to win, then they don't have that player. Um, but, like... If people don't ban Lucian, and by the way, like from everything I've seen, like LP on SK teams, like they don't prep the play ins teams. Like, like, I, like I've just like watched them like let our players get their like one tricks, and I'm just like, y'all did zero draft prep. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, so, you know, there, there's a chance that he gets to play Lucian a bunch, right? Um, I know 12, what, 17 has uh, electrocute Nami nerfs, which, uh, by the way, she's better with Aries, so it's a buff. Uh, so, Lucian Nami is like, you know, if you want to play, you should play. It's fine. Um, uh, so, you know, ultimately, yeah, I, I mean, I think there's a good chance that they can do really well. I, I mean, it's never 100%. This looks like a really stacked play so we'll see. Well, you just brought up an interesting point there. One of the things that I think separates you from a lot of the other casters, you are not afraid to throw out positions like the Arinami. Well, <laughs> yes, and, and, and that's why I think you're, you're so interesting. Uh, and 
frankly, a, a bit of a divisive character at points. Uh, if you go on Twitter after a freak game, I think we've all seen some tweets before. Um, <laughs> and I think you know that better than anyone. So, like, I guess, do you enjoy being a little bit more of that, not necessarily a contrarian, mm. but, like, a little bit more of a controversial figure in the LCS scene, even though you're, you know, just a caster at the end of the day? Yeah, I don't, I don't like, strive to be controversial. Uh -huh. Like, um, I, won't, I won't go out and publicly declare opinions that, like, I don't believe just to be controversial, they will just be my opinions. That said, in like more closed conversation, I am willing to be like, okay, I agree with you, but devil's advocate X, like, and I'll, I'll preface it and be like, hey, I don't necessarily believe this, but like, let's have the conversation, like, what if this is true? Mm -hmm. um, but like, that's like, I'm sitting with Zale about something and it's like, hey, like, what if we do think execution is good here? Like, well, you know, let me, let's, let's talk through it. Um, but otherwise though, no, like, I just have my opinions and I will declare them and they're, you know, informed by my knowledge of the game, my theory after the game, yeah, someone's going to be looking at data because 100,000 games of Diamond 2 is going to be more valuable than seven games you played in Master's Tier in one server's ladder, right? Like, yeah. guess what? There's more than your experiences, so deal with it. Um, and, and so, yeah, a mix of things are going to inform what I believe to be good. Um, and then if I'm like, okay, I believe this is true, it's like, okay, I'm going to share my opinion because that's, that's like, it's partially it's my job. Yes, I'm a caster, right? Like, my job is to opine on the games that I see. Mm -hmm. And, like you know, if it's a team's doing nothing proactively in macro, or if I think an item build is trash, or a champion pick is horrible, or someone can't affect themselves because this happens constantly, like, well, here's what it is. And yeah, some of it is like, I'm gonna preface and be like, hey, I don't actually know what, like, I don't know, Olaf versus Aatrox plays like, because I haven't yeah. played the matchup. I can say, hey, in solo queue it goes his way, and then preface it by, in solo queue it does this, if you're smart enough to understand that I'm just quoting solo queue data, then like, we're good, right? Like. And if I really believe it's a bad matchup, because like I've played it or I've experienced it or I, or I understand it, well, I'm like, hey, this guy counterpicked himself. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, right. And so it's like, you know, there, there's a certain level where it's like, I'm going to deliver it as I think this is you're actually trolling, and some will just deliver as like, hey, data indicates X, or I talked to so and so and he said this. Um, I've done those as well. Um, but yeah, like I'm not I'm not afraid of saying something unpopular, right? Um, people were like dogging on Chemtech Rift. Um, early on, it's like, look, if it's not fun, it's not fun, and that's fine. Like, I'm not going to tell you what you feel, but like, you can't prove to me this is definitely skewed towards the winning team, because like, how are you going to get deep wards in their blue buff dog when they're sitting in chem fog? Like, yeah. th are they ambushing you? How can you only say it's the winning team who gets wards here, right? So like, there's a bunch of stuff like that that I think is pretty troll that people just like say things are true, and I'm like, I'll fight you on that because like, you you for sure can't know this. Um, and so yeah, I don't I don't mind standing up for like you're making shit up. Let's go, but. Um, I don't know. Again, I'm not. I'm not afraid to be divisive because I don't care. It's fine. I've always appreciated about that about you. Uh, you're probably honestly my favorite caster just Thanks. because you say uh, things that, frankly, like I said, no one else does. And I appreciate the uh, the theory crafting look on the game. I've always thought it was you and Jat as mm -hmm. like the the two like theory crafters in the Perfect. LCS. Yeah. Um, so, going off that, like, are there any comments that you've ever made about stuff that you like in hindsight? Because I know you you've talked mm -hmm. about things that you've been wrong on before. Sure. But is there anything that you're like? man, that was really stupid. I probably shouldn't have done that. I was probably wrong about a data, misremembering something. Now you're like, yeah, you know what? Twitter mob, you're right on this one. I'll give you a little bit of leeway, but uh, yeah. So uh, there's there's two that I can think of as like general ideas. So one is like, I've, I've seen things wrong in fight before. So there was a cast in like either late regular season or playoffs where like uh, Greg is one for body slam flash, but he yes. hit scuttle and then flash on the champion. I'm like, Oh, I thought he'd actually body slam flash correctly because I assumed he had. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, like, I remember it was like, it was like a Zale or something. He's like, oh, didn't he hit? I'm like, I think he hit it correctly. But, like, I think I delivered it as, like, oh, I'm really confident he actually hit body slam flash and the Oswald failed to ult. But it's like, he just hit scuttle first, right? And I'm like, oh, I was, I yeah, I was just wrong, right? Um, so, like, yeah, I'm wrong about stuff, right? I'll see it incorrectly during the fight. Um, I'll call it a missing cooldown or whatever. Like, yeah, and I could be wrong about this stuff. Um, the only other one, really, was, um, it was, was the whole, like, Rumble's a bad jungler thing, which, by the way, I still believe to be true. That, um, <laughs> that, and, and I'll go, I'll go on the diet about it in a second. But um, basically, I'll, I'll, the only part I really disliked about it was I quoted someone from Reddit, like just people on Reddit. Some people on Reddit were also like, "Oh yeah, I also think Rumble's trash," mm -hmm. and was like, "This champion is like three and eight, you know, not counting like way, I think, playing playing the champion." Um, and so I just like basically more or less quote tweeted it and was like according to this, and like I even said like you know according to the slash you whatever on Reddit you know and then I just like quoted that um, anyway this champion's dog shit um, and first of all his count was wrong and also like not counting his wins but counting his losses right like the other yeah. side was still counted was like well against way everyone lost because of course they did and it was like yeah I shouldn't have used someone else's data like because I wouldn't I wouldn't have ever used that stat myself but I'm like oh that's cute I'll just copy something from Reddit so like that was troll as far as 
Rumble actually being bad though. Um, so what's interesting is I think scrims are a really, really bad source, like weirdly, um, a really bad source for teams to know what's good. So um, this, this, is, this is a chat stat. Um, he was delivering it yesterday uh, and he coached TL for like a year. So I trust his uh, view on this one. Um, the average game time of a scrim is 25 minutes. The average game time of a stage game is 35 minutes. Um, so guess what? Uh, games are really different in scrims than on stage, which means early game champions are heavily overperforming when you FF at 20 on average, right? When it's like Lucianami got a double kill, go next. Oh, we won game one of the best of three. Does any pro game ever actually end when there's double kill level one or just like top lane matter and the jungle fight matter, right? Like yeah. a bunch of other stuff happens. Um, I, I know stories from coaches where like, oh, you'll get five picks through a draft and be like, GG, you win, go next. Like you win one though. Yeah. And it's like, the games don't actually go this way. Um, and, and so Rumble is an absurdly early game champion, right? His clear speed's really fast. He'll fight you for first scuttle, no problem. You can't level three or level four brawl him for any of the jungle objectives. Like if you want to get into a two on two in top or mid, you're going to win every time. And it's like, oh, in these scrims, people scrap and you start out zero and two because you fought the Rumble. Oh, you lose a bunch of games. Oh, he must look really good in scrims that don't happen. Yeah. Um, that are nothing like what happens on stage. Um, and, and like, Second to that as well, like you watch them play on stage, like these people are like hard whiffing rumble ults. And it's like, you can't possibly think you're good at this champion. Like you can't possibly, even, like you can't possibly have been playing equal games at 20 minutes and been like, oh man, the rumble won us a team fight. Cause he's not even like landing R correctly. It's like going into Narnia. Um, and it's like, how bad is your practice that you think this is still good for you? And it's like, rumble is actually a hard to play champion. Yes. And I believe that like at that point in time, like, if someone had 50 games in Rumble, they'd actually be a good Rumble player. Mm -hmm. Like, I believe that, like, there's someone out there, like, Rumble could have been a playable champion. But, like, I'm watching players play it, and, like, there is zero chance this is actually the best champion for you. Because yeah. you can't even use a quarter of your abilities. Um, so, like, your scrims are biased. You're meta-sheeping off what the Chinese junglers are playing. Like, wow. you're for sure dumb here. Um, and just, like, people are like, well, no, dude. Way is good at it. It's like, yeah, he's the best jungler in the world and the best team in the world. Of course he's going to win on stuff. Like, what the hell? I, I don't know. It's wild. Too. It's yeah. wild to me. But, like... That's the world we live in. We're just, if enough analysts yell loudly enough, no one else is going to do the work. So, I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. There's my rant. <laughs> well, I appreciate the rant and the tangent and the interview. I genuinely do. Uh, and make sure to check out thegamehouse.com for more LCS interviews.